And so, you know, there was a lot of talk about the court, the makeup of the court itself. Of course, there are six justices who are leaning more conservative, three who are leaning more left. Um, and yet in this, they all seem to come to the center together. Is that surprising or, you know, is this indicative of the fact that the Supreme Court is, in fact, a little more apolitical than we talk about in, in the last few years? I believe that this case presented a very unique issue that was focusing on disenfranchising the voters of the United States. And I think that's what allowed the Supreme Court to unify on this issue. This issue became, it became clear, I believe, to the Supreme Court that by not having a strong and clear ruling on what was going to occur in this case, it could lead to problems with the general election. So the the Supreme Court made a practical decision. It does have a legal foothold, and the legal foothold is simple and strong. The states simply don't have the power to enforce this type of authority over who can get elected or who can be a candidate for president. So I believe that the Supreme Court saw this as an opportunity to put out a clear message and really to sort out what's going to happen during 2024. We have a general election this year for the president of the United States, and this is one of the issues on the table, whether former President Trump could appear on the ballots. So that's in the clear now. So just to be clear, all these other states, Illinois, Maine, maybe other states to come that had been testing the boundaries of whether they could elect, could hold candidate Trump off of their ballot, those yeah. cases are done Definitively, we're not going to hear those again, at least in this 2024 presidential election. Is that correct? I believe those cases are done for good. They are resolved. The court wrote the language and the opinion to be broad enough to encompass not just Colorado, but talked about the states as a group. The states don't have the power to enforce the 14th Amendment, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, and bar individuals from being candidates for the presidential election. That power, the Supreme Court made clear, is left up, left up to Congress. Congress can make that decision, not the states. So I believe this issue is now resolved. The Illinois case, the Maine case are done. We won't hear any more about challenges on the ballot to Trump on this basis. The, using the 14th Amendment. Now, could potential other challenges exist if he's found guilty in one of the ongoing indictments that he's facing? I think it remains to be seen. I do feel that this ruling was broad enough to cover a lot of what states can do relative to the Constitution and what they cannot do, but I wouldn't foreclose it completely. This did deal with the 14th Amendment and Section 3 of that amendment, uh, so it's broad, but there may be other instances when that does come up. 